Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about rotation rules for math. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. In math, when we are talking about rotation rules, what we are talking about are ways that we can spin a figure or a point typically around the origin, which is the center of the graph. Figures can be rotated one of two ways. They can be rotated clockwise. Clockwise refers to the way the hands spin on a clock. So if you look at a clock, the hands spin this way. So that's the direction you would be rotating or spinning the object on the coordinate grid. The figure can also rotate counterclockwise. Counterclockwise refers to the opposite direction of clockwise, or in this case, the opposite way that the hands move on a clock. These are the two ways you can rotate a figure on the coordinate grid. Just to give you a very easy example, if we had A here and we wanted to rotate it clockwise, it would rotate this way and it would become A prime down here. So this would be a 90 degree rotation clockwise. You could also take A and rotate it counterclockwise, which would go in this direction and then A prime would be over here. Another rotation rule is that you have to know that the degree measures of rotation are all in 90 degrees. So if we rotate one quadrant, either clockwise or counterclockwise, that would be a 90 degree rotation. If we rotate it again, it would be 90 more degrees, or total from this point to this point would be 90 plus 90 or 180 degrees total. In this case, we're going clockwise. And then if we went 90 more degrees, or if we went one more quadrant, it'd be 90 more degrees. And then total, it would be 90 plus 90 plus 90, or 270 degrees total rotation. You can do the same thing in the opposite direction. The same rotation rules would apply when going in the counterclockwise direction. If we go this way, it's still 90. And then if we go one more quadrant, it's 90 more again, and then 180 total our next quadrant would be 90 more degrees and then 270 degrees total and then of course if you went back to the original spot it would be 360 degrees or a full rotation around the origin. The last rotation rule has to do with the quadrants. The quadrants are labeled in a counterclockwise rotation around the origin. So this is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and then finally quadrant four. Every single coordinate in quadrant one will have a positive x value and a positive y value. Every single coordinate in quadrant two will have a negative x value and a positive y value. Quadrant three, every single coordinate is negative negative, and then quadrant four, every single coordinate is positive x and then negative y. This is important to know because as you rotate around the origin and you end up in a different quadrant, the coordinates on your point will always match the coordinates of the quadrant. So in this case, our coordinate is 2, 2. Our x value will be negative because we're in the second quadrant and the y value will be positive. So it's negative 2, positive 2. The last rotation rule that you must know is that every time you rotate 90 degrees in either direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, you flip-flop the x and the y value. So if we start here at 1, 2, and we rotate 90 degrees into quadrant 4, the 1 and the 2 will become 2, 1, and then our coordinate has to match that of the quadrant, which in this case is positive, negative. So the 2 is positive, and the y is negative. And then you can plot your new point. So it's 2, negative 1. And then if we wanted to rotate again, 1 would become 1, 2, so it would rotate back. But this time, everything in this quadrant is negative, negative. So this would be negative 1, and this would be negative 2. And you'd plot it here. And then if you rotate it again, the x and the y would flip-flop again from 1, 2 to 2, 1. And then everything in quadrant 2 has a negative x value, so our 2 is negative and a positive y value. So our point would be right there. Number two on our rotation rules for math worksheet tells us to rotate figure A, B, C, D 90 degrees counterclockwise. Here is figure A, B, C, D. We have to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. 
counterclockwise is in this direction. So it spins counter to the way the hands of a clock spin. We're going to go 90 degrees and everything in this quadrant has a negative x value and a positive y value. Now we know that every time we rotate 90 degrees we have to flip-flop the x and the y coordinates. So in this case we're going 90 degrees counterclockwise so our 3, 4 will become 4, 3. But we have to check to see what quadrant we are in. We are in quadrant 2 which we already know is negative positive. So all of our coordinates have to match our quadrant. In this case the quadrant is negative positive. The x value has to be negative and the y value has to be positive. In order to get b prime we have to flip flop our x and our y because we're going 90 degrees rotation. In this case it's 6, 6. Everything in quadrant 2 has a negative x value and a positive y value. For coordinate C, our point is 9, 4. That has to be flip-flopped into 4, 9. Everything has to have a negative x value, so that's going to be a negative 4 and a positive 9. Finally, our last coordinate is D, which is 6, 2. It will become 2, 6 because we have to flip-flop x and y. And then the 2 is negative. The last step is to graph our new figure. Here are the coordinates of our new vertices that we need to plot for our new figure. A prime is negative 4, 3, so we'll graph that. We'll also label it. B prime is negative 6, 6. We will also label B prime. C prime is negative 4, 9. And finally, D prime is negative 2, 6. So now we've graphed our new figure. You can see that our figure has been rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise. This is going to be the solution for our second problem on our rotation rules worksheet. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.